Hey, welcome back. In this video, I would like to introduce one new feature that's called the pagination. Well, um, first we need to determine whether we need this pagination function. Well, um, I am going to demonstrate using a Yelp review. From the top of the page, I can see there are 49 reviews. If I scroll down, I can see on this page there are only 10 reviews for me to see and all the other reviews they are placed on the second page the third page the fourth and the fifth so to summarize we do have a few more pages to scrape from so we do need a pagination to select or elements on all pages. Okay. Let's get started. First of all, we are trying to create a new sitemap. The sitemap, I can name it Yelp Review. I'm going to copy and paste the URL. And um, previously, there were no pagination selector for this web scraper okay so previously we had to add a new link but since there is a new function being added we would like to try the pagination and let me just name this selector pages and try to select multiple pages Jump selecting, father types, you will see a checkbox that says multiple, but for pagination, you don't have it. Okay. Make sure you place this new pagination selector under the roof and under itself. And now we are trying to create the elements. Let's scroll up a little bit until we hit the first record. The first record contains several information, including the reviewer, the place, the date, and also the content. Let's try to create a second selector. Let me call this container. And the type of it, let's choose element. Well, what it says is that I am going to create a box and inside the box, I have other information to scrape from. Let me place this under the root and also under the pages. Okay. Make sure it's multiple and then let me select. I would like to select the whole area, select the second and we will see all the others are automatically selected. Let me done selecting. Save the selector. Get inside. Create new text selector this time. Scroll up a little bit until I see my first record. I go ahead and do the reviewer. For the first one, I would like to know who reviewed this website, right? Select the name of the reviewer. Yeah, here we do have multiple, but since we don't have multiple reviewers within the box, let's just leave it here. Make sure it's under the container and save the selector. We would like to add one more. Um, for demonstration purposes, let me just add one more. That's the review. Okay. We select the review and jump selecting. Make sure it's under the container. Save the selector. Okay. Now I shall have, let me pull out the graph. I have the roots, the entry page. I have the pages, I have the container, 
under the engine page. All those will be scraped. Inside the container, I have the reviewer information and also the comment. On the second page, I would like to reach out and see review information and review again. I do have the second page, the third page. So it will go until it reaches the last one. If that looks right, I would like to go ahead and try scrape. Do start scraping. Wait a few more seconds. If I have multiple pages, then this will be longer. When it's down, the new window will be closed and I shall be able to click on the refresh button and see all the results. If I'm satisfied with the current results, I shall be able to export my data as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet.